we are about to make our trade. Oh yeah, emerald. <sighs> ah, he took charcoal for the coal, but I should have brought my spoon because I'm an idiot. So guess what we're gonna get? Oh yeah, we are gonna get it. Hopefully all the creepers have dispatched. I didn't quite get. Oh man, that's so damn loud in my ear. Hold on a second. Here we go. Uh, the one good thing about whoops about these tree guys is they don't really take into consideration the condition of the item you're trading. So if you have a broken down something, you can trade it for a new something. So let's go over here to our where is he? Uh is he over here? I think he's over here. Are you over here? Yes. So one emerald, one broken spoon, and one silk touch spoon, bitches. Yeah. Guess what we're getting? Grass and mycelium. Sticks around it. It'll be fine. Oh, we got some leg up on her. Okay. Now, just so I know for sure, we we'll get some grass blocks in here. Put a grass block right there. Whoops! I lost that one. Oh, you bastard. Okay. Now for my sedium, we're gonna put one down here. And then I'm going to go up top. I'm going to make that platform a lot bigger. Probably as big as this bottom part is, maybe. Possibly. And, um... Where am I going to put it? Where do I want to put it? Eh, right here. Ta-da! Put another one right here. Well, actually... Do that. And then come over here. I got something for you. And that. I've already done it, but I'm going to do it again. Okay. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> okay. And then when I get mushrooms upstairs, we're going to put some more upstairs. But I want to, um, I want to also put some mushrooms down here so they can start spreading. Bloop. Got it. Okay, so, yeah, that was that, um, so I'm probably going to take a quick little break, and then be back to make the, um, the mob spawner, so we can start getting some spawns up on her, and some arrows, because there's, I'm not going to make a trap for the, for the, um, the, the, what are they called? The blazes and all that. I'm just gonna flat out go up there with armor and shoot the mother flimmers. That's all I'm gonna do is go up there and shoot them. Them in the gas. So in order to do that successfully I would like to have lots of arrows and um what else? Hopefully I got a I got one villager in there who's gonna trade me wait a minute, he might trade me for a diamond bow. Or yeah, I'm going to have to give him a diamond something to trade for another diamond something, I think. Pretty sure. Wait a minute, which one was it? Do you? No. Who was it? Oh, I give him an iron sword. Oh, I can do that now. I give him an iron sword and I tra trade for sharpness 2 looting 1. Where's the other guy? I thought I saw... Did I close him in? Here it is, but you have to give him a diamond pickaxe. Oh. Well, you ain't no good at all. I won't have a diamond pickaxe. Unless one of these guys want to trade me for a Oh, what do you got? Oh. Well, he's going to be dying soon. 
I didn't hear my little dude. Anybody new? Nope. Oh! Oh crap, I killed him and I didn't get the iron for it. Oh. Yep. Let's see what happens. Got distracted and I went and did something else and didn't get my iron. Damn it. Oh fudge. Oh well. Whatever. I think I didn't get the iron. Or did I show you guys that and then pick up the iron? Damn, I don't even remember. I've killed so many of them. <laughs> okay, well, I gotta get to sleep. Oh my god, go, 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 go. I need to make several beds. I gotta make a bed in there. And everywhere that I'm working, I have to have a bed. So I don't have to keep running back home. So I will be back. Okay, we are back for another installment of Pancake Survival. And we are doing a little decoration. I finally got a handle on the, uh, on the Mega Village. And got the, what do you call it? The golems going down where I want them to go. So hopefully now they'll just collect and I can just pour sand on them and not have to worry about them. Oh, I like the glass in this texture pack. Oh, um, sorry. If it ain't one thing, it's another. Wait, I got a table. It's that day. Let's put that bad boy right there. Oh, I just, <laughs> just ran out of axes. I had to make some axes. And is it going daytime or nighttime rather? I just freaking slept. Oh my god. D. Alright. Well, this will give me a chance to show you how everything is. I, I haven't really changed much. I caught some, uh, a couple of cows and I bred them and I caught a sheep and it was a good thing that I put them in, uh, put them in here because dogs spawned and they were jumping and they wanted they wanted that sheep they wanted him bad but so far nothing else has spawned just the two pigs and they've been sitting well there was four pigs or so and I've been killing pigs and there's been a couple of um, birds but nothing else that's it oh we just had another golem drop I saw them so this is Hey, give me that. <sighs> give me that. Some residual wood left over. So what I did here was, ah, oh, only one, is I got a ladder going here. I, I may take it out if it proves to be a hindrance to the golems. So what's going to happen is that's going to fill up with those little guys, and then I'm just going to hit one of the walls with sand and uh, kill them all like I just did. I'll go down and collect my booty and then come back up the ladders. And that's all of that. Ooh, I um, I got a, uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, mycelium. I don't think there's any, uh, any cows up here. I think I'm gonna have to be up here but, oh, Jesus. <laughs> They're going to have to be up here for a little bit. Ooh, any creepers, any creepers, any creepers? No. Yeah, nothing wants to spawn up here. <laughs> so, I'm probably going to have to make some tall trees or something and then be up on top of them doing whatever. And then give these guys a chance to spawn or something. I don't know. But nothing spawns up here, because it's, I guess it's too far down. But look at that. It's a big old circle. <laughs> I love how dark the grass is over here. It looks good. And, um, I can barely hear my footsteps on it. But yeah, the grass is going crazy. And I'm trying to beat it to my tree farms here, because I want my tree farms to be on dirt. And... I'm putting the uh, wood in between, but I haven't done this one right over here.
but I want to get started because I haven't done the, um, and I know I said I would be in the next video, I would be, um, doing the mob spawner, but I can't do the mob spawner because I need, um, regular wood. And I see that the grass is encroaching on me, so I need to get busy. But a cool way to do your, um, your oak is just to come o over here and put a glass piece above them. That way they won't grow into them ginormous trees. And you go eight above them, right? But I have nine pieces of sand on me because here would be a sapling. So count this as a sapling. So now, you see I have eight in my hand. So now it would be eight up. So eight pieces up and you put a piece of glass. You can do that with dirt. It doesn't matter. But, um... And I, I do it on here because I'm digging down so fast. I, I almost did that before. I almost gave myself a heart attack. When I was digging these up and I placed two really fast. And I thought I made a mistake and I placed them on top of each other. So I dug them up and I pushed forward to collect them and there was a hole. <laughs> I didn't know that I actually placed the block. I thought I just placed them like this. So I went to take it away and there was, <laughs> there was a hole. Oh my god, it was horrible. <laughs> Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so pretty much everything is, is almost the same. I added, um, reeds, terra reed over there, and, um, and that's about it. A few, few lines of uh, terra reed, and, uh, and then these things, you just go ahead and, uh, it, it takes eight. And I know it's it's a waste, but and I used to do them with the half slabs when the stairs didn't turn. This is this was pre stair cur around the block, and so I used to put uh, half slabs on the sides and just stairs on each side, and it would work out. It would work out okay. It wasn't it wasn't you know the fancy. I would they wouldn't be this color. They would be the same color as the, and they would be in the oak because they didn't have uh minecraft didn't have the color the different colored stairs at the times at the time it was just oak so that's how that would look but now i have options and i take advantage of them i was going to change them up but i figured nah, just make them all the same what the hell because i'm trying to save my um my wood for the um what the hell did I put it I think it's going to be over here yeah I originally had the um cobblestone generator over here but then I moved it over there because I want the um I'm not sure exactly where I spawned so I figure I'm probably a safer bet to put the mob spawner over here because if you put the mob spawner over your spawn it's not going to spawn uh, mobs and I was fortunate once to have world edit where I can just copy it and paste it over to a different area well I can't do that in here because I don't well I could probably if I put world edit but I don't have world edit oh man I messed up here I forgot to put three on this side oh well I'll fix it anyway this is one and a half blocks and these are going to be changed to cement or cobblestone uh, and then I'm basically going to go up 21 more blocks and start my um, my mob spawner. And what I want to do is use regular wood or use birch. And then for the shoots, because it looks like a big cross in the sky. And let me show you on the ground here. Kind of like I did with the, um, the uh, what do you call it? So basically, it's going to be like this. These are going to be... Whoop, these are going to be the channels where the water pushes the guys down. So they're going to... It's going to have it like this. So just imagine... Whoops! Well, just imagine these go out eight blocks each side. Okay? And it's up in the air. And then... 
this is going to have um, a 5x5 five five platform for the mobs to spawn on, right? So each corner is going to have a 5x5 five five and it's going to be too high. So mobs are going to be able to spawn on this platform and what they do is they fall into the channel, they get pushed by the water and they fall down this hole and they land on this which is going to have a covering of glass. I was thinking about using um, uh, iron bars. I did make a, a stack of 16 iron bars because we're just floating in iron bars, you know. Um, or uh, I should say iron ingots. Anyway, um, so that's that's my plan. So I get spiders, um, everything except for endermen. And I don't really need to have endermen because all I got to do is um, look at endermen and they'll come to my base so and I also have a villi in there who will sell me ender eyes for the portal and I'm pretty sure I can light that portal I can do that portal um, with the 15 blocks I have now because it takes 12 of them I think um, pretty sure that's how you gotta do it that's how you assemble it, because a real ender portal looks like this. And then it has lava underneath. I'm not gonna... I don't know if I want to put lava underneath. I don't think I need it. And then you have the eyeballs over here. And that's where you put your eyeballs in. So I don't... I think I'm gonna be safe if I do it like that. And I don't think I need lava underneath it, because... Um, in his ocean block, he didn't have lava underneath his. He just had it like that. So, I think we're pretty safe. Um, way back when, when I originally uh, got the ender, um, pieces, the end stone, whatever the hell it was, um, I was, because he gave us an end portal. He gave us two end portals. In, or, not him, but, um, the guy who made Four Pillar Survival when you went into the nether there was a box and I'm not going to say where the box was but there's two end portals in the box and that's what I was thinking of when I was making that little diagram and I was thinking that you can make a portal like that and I was thinking of the guy who gave me the end portals on four pillar survival oh crap I can't run <laughs> and um I was thinking of those portals but he he hacked those in that's not how you would make a real end portal stone or portal from end stone. Mm -hmm. So don't do it like that. <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I got for this video. So I may cut this up into one of the other videos. So I won't say I'll see. Well, I will see you next time. But mm -hmm. this might be part of part of the the last video that I recorded. So that way I will. Um, I will still be in uh, in the same video, so I won't have said that I'm going to make the mob spawner, and I haven't made it yet. <laughs> and I have got to fix this uh, cobblestone, because it's going to drive me crazy. But yeah, look at my tree farms. Aren't they beautiful? I can't, I can't just have trees sitting in the ground. It's just not going to happen. It has to be something outside the box for me. It has to be outside the box. I can't do normal because I'm not normal. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I'll leave you with that. Goodbye.